Hello and welcome to this new video on my YouTube channel Der Filmer. That is my first English video, so please excuse that my English is not the very best and that it don't sound too much German. Um, so, let's begin. What uh, will we uh, build in this video? In this video I will show you how to build a homebrew dipole antenna. This um, special antenna, or not the special antenna, um, this antenna you can use for each frequency. That means that you can use it for listening to shortwave radio, to normal radio, and for listening to digital DAB plus radio and digital antenna TV DVB-T or DVB-T2 and HD. Um, self understand and self understand like so you can use every frequency you would like to and how to build this antenna I will tell you after the intro good luck so first of all what do we need we need a plug with a pin in it um, here you can see it and the wire, uh, the diameter doesn't matter, a um, uh, big diameter is better, so um, yeah, I, my favorite is um, two, diam uh, 2 millimeter diameter or more. Um, here I use um, part of a coax cable, you can use that too, because that is a bit stronger, because it has plastic uh, outside. Yeah, and then we need a um, screwdriver, this here, I don't know the name in Germany, in, in, in English, in Germany it's Zollstock, <laughs> and a soldering station, yeah, and a bit soldering wire. Yeah, let's begin. Um, first of all, I have to say that the lens depended on the frequency. That means that you can't use every um, lens you um, yeah you would like to you have to calculate it out and that is very important otherwise the antenna um, yeah it works but it works very very bad it works bad like the uh, the commercial antennas I don't uh, have to say that um, yeah and to calculate the lenses you need this formula 300, it's the um, speed of the light, um, 300 divided to the frequency you would like to use. Uh, here I will um, build an antenna for DAB plus digital radio, channel 12B, uh, for that the frequency is 225 MHz. If you want to build um, this antenna for watching TV by DVB-T or DVB-T2, you have to look in the channel list to find out the frequency for FM radio. You, um, yeah, you have to find out the frequency too. Yeah. So the important one is that you know the frequency you would like to work on. Um, so 300 divided to the frequency uh, you would like to work on here 225 for an example and that is 133 or 1 1.33 meters 133 um, centimeters and that you have to divide into four parts so 133 or your figure uh, divided to four and then I have 33.2.5 uh, or something, I don't have a calculator here. Um, yeah, so that is the formula. And that you have to multiply by um, 0 0.95. So again, 300 divided to the frequency and that uh, divided to 4. And then you have to multiply it by um, 0 0.95. And then you have the length of each part. And that is very important. And um, if you don't use um, the correct length, yeah, then you can use a commercial antenna. Then you have the same effect. Um, I will show you a uh, commercial antenna at the end of this video. So, here you have the lenses with this Zollstock. Uh, you can find out lens here. I have 30 uh, or 
yeah, 35 centimeters. And here I have this plug. And now we have to connect one part of um, the antenna, one wire, to this pin. So here. And one part we have to connect to the ground here. So let's begin. I take the screwdriver and I will plug it in. Okay, the screw is not the best, it's not working, but only for demonstration. And now we have to solder this cable here to the outside. And then we are, have finished our very easy but very, very effective antenna. And that is the um, basically antenna of every antenna. And now I would um, show you a commercial antenna and I will tell you why um, the most of commercial antennas are not suitable for your um, yeah, frequency. Because before we learned that the um, length of the antenna depended on the wave length and other birds, the uh, length of the antenna depended on the frequency, uh, we know now that uh, we can't use any wire length, so we have to calculate it. And that's why commercial antennas are not um, the best for um, receiving um, because they are not calculated for your frequency, they are calculated for uh, yeah for um, another frequency, but not the frequency you would like to use uh, for um, a digit for no more normal radio. It's okay, but um, for DBT or DBT2, for example. Um, there is a very big space from 400 till uh, 7 or 800, um, I think so. Um, there, the antenna can't be calculated exactly to your frequency because um, a few people use 700 megahertz, another people are using um, 400 megahertz. So the antenna is not exactly specific. It, specificated for your frequency. That's why a self-made antenna is um, better in nearly every time. So, and here we have an um, FM radio antenna for 88 till um, 108 MHz. And uh, let's take 100 MHz, for example. This antenna is for 100 MHz. And if you calculate it, um, with our formula, 300 divided to, uh, to 100, our frequency, um, is 3. Our wavelength is 3 meters. And for this antenna type, you need uh, a quarter of the wavelength. Um, so, um, 3 meters divided to 4, and that is f um, 75 centimeters. But this antenna is 150 centimeters, that's the double of 75. And that's why you can throw the antenna away, because it's not calculated to your um, frequency. It's a half wave and has, it has another impedance, because it's not suitable to your um, frequency uh, without a tuner, for example. And yeah, this cheap antenna hasn't it. So, um, calculate your own antenna with the formula 300 divided to the frequency divided into four parts and then multiply it with um, 0 0.95 and then you have the length of each part of this dipole. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope I can help you not only here in Britain uh, only on the world too. So thanks for watching and see you the next time. Bye bye